So the first thing we need, we need the SQL precompiler. Good news is, the SQL precompiler is part of the license product 5770-ST1. Um, so it's included since release 5.1. And so we can use a um, SQL precompiler. We can um, run the program. It's there. Uh, so we can use it wherever we want. The precompiler itself is only needed at compile time. That means the precompiler first checks the SQL syntax, checks your um, sources, and then it replaces the, the SQL statement with API calls. And after it had it has modified the um, the source, it sends it to the language compiler, the regular language compiler, and it generates either a module or a program. So that's it. But there are a few companies who say, um, hmm, we don't want to have SQL on our productive machine because everybody um, could modify our data. I have seen that. Is it a problem? No, it isn't. Because the SQL statement is um, replaced with API calls. The SQL runtime is integrated in the operating system. So we even can run an embedded SQL program on a machine that is without any SQL because the runtime is there. So we can use it. Though there is no excuse to not to use embedded SQL. So the advantages, I think I uh, talked them or told a lot of them before. We can um, insert, update, or delete multiple.